Why everybody hates caribou. Hey little niggas. Hey little niggas. Hey little niggas. Is caribou allowed to say- Yeah? Wait. What is caribou's race? What is it? Caribou ethnicity. Is she biracial? Rapper identifies as American. Alright, bro. It's not what we're asking, but alright. I'll go ahead and defend me to everybody right now. That won't happen. You shouldn't say it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Wait, know you guys really feel like that? You know, you be saying it? I've Wait, heard but he's white. It. I'm like, this nigga been in hell of movies because he's a rapper. This nigga, like, and that's literally when I started being like, I want to be a rapper. Anytime there's a female artist that come out, sometimes this shit could be special, but then sometimes this shit could be weird. We didn't see females that come in the game and do some good things, you know? But the minute you get a name for yourself, whatever you did in the past can also hunt you down, and how you react to the situation can also. Bro, yes, it's really how you react to the situation, but that's the really big one. Because you could have done some crazy stuff in your past. Not like super crazy, like I'm talking like EDP, but like crazy to the level where it's like whoa you know what i'm saying like where we kind of gotta like question what's going on here that kind of crazy um and if you in the response to it if it's not like like on brand kind of response or like it doesn't it seems like you're not being genuine dude that might mess up everything for you bro to damage your career but i feel like there's someone that's really taking off right now but you have such a huge audience hating on this part y'all gonna hate caribou straight into success just like how y'all did ice spice i'm so excited for her. people hated ice spice i feel like everybody wait mm, actually ice spice is second song because look you thought i was feeling you and then like like that song tough then the second song i think she had the same flow but then all she did was just shake ass in the video. And then everybody was like, what are we doing here? But then now she's catapulted up to the top. So, hey, maybe that might be the same thing for Caribou. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Almost for everything and bringing up her past. The female artist Caribou. I know y'all have seen this person for many different reasons. A lot of these niggas know her from Lil Yachty. Many people yeah. know her from the freestyle that she just did on, on the radar. Some of y'all niggas might know her from Twitter. I fuck with Caribou. I don't know why y'all hate her. I think niggas be getting paid to hit on Caribou. Nobody could ever make me hate Caribou. Caribou's tough, bro. To me, at least. I fuck with her music. I don't know anything other than the music. That's what I'm watching this video. Because her name is on there everywhere. But that's the thing. We not finna give a f*** on the radar. Some of that y'all niggas might know her from Twitter. Because her name is on there everywhere. <laughs> I actually hate her. But that's the thing. We're not finna give a whole history and do all that damn rambling about who Caribou is. We yeah. care about the music and we care about the controversy. But Caribou is a female artist that's under the same label as Lil Yachty, aka the Concrete Boy. One of the biggest reasons I feel like she popping is because of the freestyle that she did on, on the radar. DC2 Trill and Lil Yachty did their thing. But them mother niggas mm -mm. and Caribou. Caribou was. Caribou's freestyle was alright. It wasn't like crazy. Well, I'd say DC Trill really had, like, the best one, in my opinion. In my opinion, DC Trill had the best one. Yachty's was good, too. And then Caribou's was, like, probably, like, third. And then the other guys didn't really, you know, they didn't really show up for real. Caribou came in and did her shit. And you can tell that Caribou had that dog in her. Because when you listen to these lyrics, this freestyle was so damn good that I thought this nigga Lil Yachty wrote the lyrics for her. She was... <laughs> born for this rap shit but that's the thing i don't think nobody really thinks the same way that i do you know and i know y'all probably asking okay why that's why i'm gonna talk about three things that i not only damage your career but it's making people really hate on caribou so the first thing we're gonna talk about why nobody takes caribou serious and how she became a rap one of the biggest reasons why nobody take her serious is because she didn't want to be a rapper at first because i know y'all niggas wondering where did caribou come from why is her music just now popping up now you know a year ago before all this rapping shit caribou used to be a so-called assistant for lil yacht and there was one day that the whole group was at this movie studio and Lil Yachty was so-called doing some voiceovers for a movie. But when Caribou seen that Lil Yachty was doing voiceovers for this movie, she thought about being a rapper because she always wanted to get into acting. She always wanted to be in some movies, you know? Oh, so she wanted to use rapping as the outlet to go do something else. There's nothing wrong with that. Bro, it's the same thing. Bro, literally Kai wanted to be an actor. Kai Sinat, biggest streamer on earth. He wanted to be an actor, bro. And he became a content creator to become an actor. End goal. Are y'all gonna hate on Kyle all of a sudden because he wanna be an actor? Like, no. And she felt like one of the easiest ways to get into acting 
as to be a rapper and get called up for some movies. And when Lil Yachty heard this shit, he was all for it because they already been knowing each other for a minute. So boom, Caribou started taking all these freestyles she was doing behind scenes and making them into singles. But the shit don't stop right there because she was making music videos to these damn songs. So that's when Money Counter dropped and then Box to 40. But when Box to 40 dropped, this song was like a good thing for Caribou, but it was also like a curse. You know what I'm saying? Not only when she performed it, but when she even made the song. But the whole song, she talked about how she ain't messing with no scammers no more. She ain't messing with these niggas no more. And then she talked about her damn pooty putter the whole time. But it was a hard ass beat. You feel me? It was a good song, but nobody really took her serious. I was going to say, it was a it was, it was alright song. It was alright. I, I, because if y'all remember, chat on stream, I had listened to Caribou song because I seen it pop up on recommended. Listen to Caribou, uh, whatever the newest song is, Running Counter or whatever. Listen to that song, and then I was like, okay. Let me listen to some other songs from her so I can know it's not just a one hit kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Then I listened to this song. The song was like, I was like, I, I can see the vision here. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Because if so niggas being honest, any that. female can hop on this damn mic and talk about that damn pooty putter. And if you yeah. look good, you definitely gonna blow up. And Caribou even said it herself. In her past interview, she told everybody she don't like Box to 40. Because to this day, even while she making her new shit, people still use this song against her and try to make her something she not. So she told everybody, that's not even me. The shit I said in that song was just a freestyle. But that's not who I am. So this brings me to my second point about everybody bringing up Caribou's past. So after that whole situation, she yeah. still proceeds to make... Running late, that's what it is music you feel me the songs that she got with anicia is banger them on the radar freestyles that shit is a banger but the songs she been making lately you can tell that she was born for this rap shit so caribou name been growing everywhere of course she be with the gang concrete boy but caribou got her own damn name now you can't really knock her down for that shit man but what i'm finna talk about right now made a lot of people scratch their damn head i'm not yeah. sure why it took so long for people to notice this shit but in most of her songs did you it's terrible lot to say <laughs> usage of the word nigga is used a lot of times so a lot of people on twitter were just frying her I mean, but like, okay. For saying right. the word nigga. Oh. And apparently, there's a video out there of Caribou axing Lil Yachty and the whole Concrete crew. If they can... Caribou left shocked if Lil Yachty refused to defend her usage of the N-word. Okay, but Yachty could be trolling though, bro. Clear her name for saying the word nigga. And I'm not sure if Lil Yachty was joking or not. Yeah, I was about but to this say. nigga said, no, that is not okay. He said, you shouldn't be using a word even that much. And she sat there looking like she got hit with a stun grenade and clueless. And she asked him, are y'all serious? And they all said, yeah, you got to stop doing that. Y'all go ahead and defend me to everybody right now. That won't happen. You shouldn't say it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Wait, know you guys really feel like that? You know, you be saying it? I've Wait, heard but he's say white. I'm saying then this nigga starts laughing, bro. He's trolling. It's crazy because Lil Yachty made a tweet. And he posted a. My little nigga said. <laughs> Picture of caribou doing. Okay. That's a crazy caption. On our fashion shit. But the caption made everybody confused. The caption said, My little nigga say her. What? So everybody was like, Wait, what'd he just say? Yeah, but that shit happened. And Apparently she not black. And that only made more people clueless. I mean, it is rumors out there. I was hurt when they. Ain't want to defend her saying our word. People saying that her dad is black, but who really knows? But trust me, there's a lot of people that don't like the fact that Caribou keeps saying nigga. But nobody really knows what she is. So is that the reason why people hate this her? This brings me to my next point about why Caribou gets a lot of hate. But if y'all don't know who Lucky is, then... I was about to say, Lucky literally has like the same flow and people fuck with Lucky. You tripping, nigga. Lucky is a big guy that been going crazy, nigga. And if you don't know him... Nah, Lucky, yeah. I was like, Lucky been going crazy. All you gotta know is that he's a rapper, nigga, okay? This nigga got a huge cult fan base, you know? But out of all the times for this shit to happen, I didn't think things would go this far. But I'm not sure when, but in the past, Lucky and Caribou used to have a little thing going on. Oh. You feel me? Now, see, there's nothing wrong with this. You do what you want with your pooty putter. I'm not yeah. sure if it was from the Caribou fans or the Lucky fans, but in the underground, this picture was trending everywhere. It's not about why this picture leaked. It's about what niggas did after this picture leaked. That's when the Twitter hate start to come in. I'm not even... Wait. Oh, and Julian wagging their tails over, not caribou. Man, I'm not even sure how the fuck these niggas found. I was unfamiliar with her game, bro. What? This shit. After these niggas already leaked the picture of caribou and Lucky, niggas found an older video of caribou throwing ass. This video was trending. <laughs> Stick a mess. Trending on Twitter, and these niggas <laughs> took all the leaks and made it a cool thing to call. What? Call oh, caribou up. All the little niggas from the. Definitely remember we've been hyping up ugly women for years, so I don't care about looks as long as they ain't white. What the fuck? On the ground, fans from everywhere were just calling her. No ca- wait. That caribou girl- What? Her ugly. They called her a hoe. And I feel like- Throwing neck in the Nickelodeon parking lot at 15 is crazy. Oh no, nah. 
I seen some bro. I be watch. I be getting uh clips of their podcast, the Nesny Classified podcast, on my uh, YouTube, on my not my YouTube, my Instagram Explore page, bro. Bro, Mose was going crazy. She was going, bro. She ran through the whole cast before she got to Ned, bro. Before she, before she settled with Ned, she ran through the whole cast, gang. That's crazy. Like crazy. she was really lame. Yeah, and it got to crazy. a point that Caribou felt uncomfortable. She started asking everybody. Wait, whoa, what? Feel like this shit was really lame. And it got to a point that Caribou felt uncomfortable. So why she slick look like Michael Jackson in 07? Hold on, let's let's compare this. My Can you spell Michael Jackson in 2007? I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. I'm kind of mad that I can see it though. Uncomfortable. She started asking everybody. Why a little bit. Hate like, me? like oh, it's my. not even. I don't even know how it, whoever thought of that's brain like did that, because it's not an obvious comparison. Like you would have to find something. Like, I'm looking at the cheekbones, looking at the facial structure, and I can kind of see why they said that. But why was it the first thing that came to me? Why don't y'all like me? Did I do something to y'all? Now don't get me wrong. I'm not sure why niggas care about a female twerking. I really don't know. But this brings me to the point of why I made this damn video. I know a lot of y'all niggas confused, but I'm finna explain this shit. Caribou's past can't damage her career. It's about how she reacts to this shit. If she ignored this shit, I don't think niggas would really care. And trust me, I know. Ever since Caribou came to this world, like she's got nothing but disrespect, and I hate this shit because she really doesn't do anything to deserve it. True. Well, Caribou get a lot of hate for no reason. And bro, she's on a rise right now. She's doing her but thing. But if she keep tuning in to that hate shit, then the hate might overcome you, and bro. No, facts. Yeah, if she just spends the entire time, like, addressing haters and all this stuff, then it's going to encourage more people to start hating. Because then they're like, oh, yeah, we're getting to her. We're going to fucking make her stop making music or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? But... If she doesn't address the hate, or maybe she addresses it like one time, maybe, and like that's it, it never shouldn't let it take over everything she does. Should be all right. Should be all right. Cause look, there's more. I feel like there's more people that like her than hate her, but the people who hate her are just like loud. You know, yeah. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all at this point have tried to post a TikTok or something or a YouTube video or some shit. You got like 15 comments telling you, bro, this is so good. Keep making videos like this. Ah, I was like, well, look at that one comment, bro. That one comment telling you, yo, this shit ass. Stop making videos. Um, This same for you. La 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 la. You look like. Uh, I don't know, Oompa Loompa or something from Willy Wonka, like, that, you're gonna, like, that one comment's gonna stick, for some reason, all the good comments, are the one's gonna stick, so, as long as she doesn't let that happen, should be good. Break you down. I talked to one of my homeboys the other day. And I asked him, I said, hey man, what do you think about Caribou? This nigga could have said so many different things, but the one thing he said, I ain't gonna lie, man, it's something about Caribou face that pissed me off. What? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, these niggas making it a cool thing to make fun of Caribou. It don't even gotta be about the music. These niggas will do anything to bring her name down. See, with me, nigga, I think she makes great music. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about this whole Same. situation. I like what her do y'all think about Caribou? Is she overhated or is she overrated? Make sure to follow my overhated IG right for now. Sure, but bro. Overhated. You could say you don't like some music all right cool but just hating somebody for the sake of hating them is crazy it's d-u-t-i-e i'm not sister myself for no bitch we was born for this youtube shit but i love y'all so much y'all stay blessed peace that's a good video i like this dude i think this video is already on the internet also from the clips of personal information taken there's no disrespect at all also educational purposes Tough, tough, tough. Obviously, means she's doing something right. That's how I view it. Is, is. facts. I understand, especially this one snippet I heard from her. She's like, not gonna lie. Yeah, she she cool to me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. She cool. She cool with me. I'm cool with her. 